All right, guys, welcome back to a new video today. And today's video, I'm finally happy to see this. The Vase Easter egg on Dead and Light finally got solved. And uh, big shout out to um, Anthony or Sirius for like solving this. I messaged him a while back about it, and uh, you know, we talked back and forth, and you know, uh, he finally got it done. So I'm so happy that's is over and done with. If you guys enjoyed the video, I appreciate it. I'm sorry if it's, if it's like a really bad like guy video and stuff. I'm not very good at this stuff, but I tried. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Okay, so when you spawn in on Dead and Night, you need to locate record players for an Easter egg step. Now, the first one is going to be in the music room. Okay, so when you see record players, all you got to do is just go out to it. And I think that's it. Like, I think that's, that's all you do. Or just hold F. So it's just an easy option. Okay, so the reason why I mentioned the record players is because we actually need to locate them in a specific order in the map. So, for example, if you open the wrong part of the map and you look at one, it's GG's. It needs to be a certain order. It's stupid, but it's literally the truth. Once you've gone to the record player, turn on power, obviously, do that stuff. And then, we're going to open up doors in this specific order. Now, this is such a weird step, right? Because they made it that you need to open up doors in any random order. And then, that order literally takes it to the vases because the vases are literally above the doors so what i usually do is do this order now i i recommend doing this because it's obviously the easiest way to do it because i know how to do it also when you're opening the doors you need to make sure that you need to find the, the record players in certain rooms right so this is the order where i open my doors the first one is the pack lunch door the second one is the cellar door the third one is the dining room door and then also open the greenhouse door and the ones to the left of that then open the library door and yeah, try and be careful with uh, the record player because obviously if you look at it, it's going to fuck you over a little bit. Walk up the stairs, go to the right and then open the graveyard door and you're done. Alright, so once you've opened up the debris of the map, now you can actually go to the record players. So you've done the music one already, so now you can go to the dining room one, the west gallery one, the master bedroom one, the library one and then the bookshelf one which is the secret easter egg. Okay, yeah, so all you gotta do now is get four symbols on screen. Shout out to uh, Mr. Dark G for a screenshot, I appreciate it. And then, um, yeah, just go back and forth between the two bookshelves and then it'll open. Okay, so as soon as you've done that, now we're all good for the vase step. Now, for the vase step, it's actually kind of difficult because you need to go like in each corner or just face forward and get that certain position. It could take a while, but you will get eventually. Okay, so when it comes to the vase step, you can either use acid grenades or sorry, acid bombs, frag grenades, or uh, the trench gun popped, whatever the fuck it's called. So I'm using this one because I find it easier, but one of them three works. Okay, so the first vase you want to shoot is above the forest slash pop door. The second one you want to shoot is in between the stairs on the little water pool. Okay, now the third one is here. Now make sure you shoot the right one because there is one above that one. And yeah, here's the fourth one as well. Uh, just make sure you shoot there properly because, again, it's hard to hit. The fifth one is on the opposite side of the building next to the library. And the last one is on the right side of the first library one. Okay, so now the next step is to find six OK candles in the areas you open the doors with. But now you need the ray fires to light them up in the reverse order. Bruh. Okay, so this step is actually not that annoying. The only part of the step is that like some locations are kind of hard to hit and the hitboxes are really annoying as well. So it might take a couple of times to hit them. Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys all the locations separately. Okay, so now go to the east stairs and pick up the record player disc. Okay, so now you need to find the record players and actually interact with them in reverse order again, like the ray fires. If you got them right, you should hear like E snippets, like a little song or something. Bruh, whoever done these steps of trackers is fucking dumb. Holy shit. Okay, the first one in reverse order is the bookshelf one. The second one in reverse order is the library one. The third one in reverse order is the master bedroom one. The fourth one in reverse order is the West Gallery one. The fifth reverse one is the Dining Room one. And the final one is in the Music Room. 
Okay, so now we are on the final step, finally. Okay, so once the record prayers are done, now you can go to the north atrium by the pap door and hear it for a ghost. Now, when you hear it for the ghost, you gotta follow it like really, really close to the ghost because it can, I think it could like go away or something. But yeah, like you'll hear like just her like laughing and shit. But yeah, she basically just takes you around the whole mansion into all like the cellars and then that's pretty much it. And then, when you get to like the bottom of the cellar, of the stairs, she will actually make you go pro, which is a bit odd. And then, if you keep crawling and crawling and crawling, you might get a little, um, a little surprise. Here we go! And the Easter egg is now complete. And also, you should get rewards in a sec as well. Yeah, there you go. Humunculus, and you get six perks. There you go. And that is the Easter egg. I have now solved the Vases Easter egg. If anyone at Triarch is listening to this, please never, ever put anything into your map like this ever, ever again. This was fucking pointless, but still fun. Goodbye.